Indian large language models, do you believe that is necessarily the future? If so, how is it progressing? So we have to look at the entire AI architecture, the entire stack, starting with the applications which are Indian corporates and Indian uh, businesses, they are adopting in a very huge way, coming to the orchestration, that entire software layer between the hardware and the application piece that we need to develop so that our digital sovereignty is properly protected and we, uh, nobody can have a kill switch which can uh, uh, kind of prevent us or uh, uh, isolate us from the entire technology stack. Third is the entire uh, layer of uh, LLMs. LLMs are coming in multiple forms and multiple shapes today. Um, today there, I mean practically every week or every 10 days you can find one new model getting announced by somebody in the world. Now, the way the entire AI model uh, scenario is today changing, we must focus on the innovative pieces, the engineering innovation which can give us a leverage over the huge capital which is required in the conventional ways of training AI models. So we must use that as our strength and that is what we are doing in the six models which are getting developed. Uh, two of the models will be of the 120 billion parameter order and I think this will be, this will provide us a good base where the models are not biased the way the western models are. They are trained on Indian languages, Indian context and they have the same technical strength which uh, let's say uh, any other uh, bigger model in the world would have. So many young startups, many young entrepreneurs, they are really working big time full focused on that layer. The final layer is the chipset and that is where that should be a next goal once we achieve the application, the orchestration entire layer, the models and then we should aim at the chipsets.